As a small business owner, you do not want to overpay for your website. And you might be thinking, what do I actually need in a website? Do I have to pay for all these bells and whistles in the platform? Maybe, maybe not. And that's why in this video, we're gonna be breaking down what do you actually need on your small business website to do enough to turn website traffic or online traffic into actual customers for your business because that's all we really care about we don't really care about all the bells and whistles let's break it down for you in this video i'm going to teach you exactly what it is that you need what the essential should be on your small business website anything beyond that is great i'm not discouraging it but what do you actually need that's probably what you need to know now this video is brought to you by mighty sites only nine dollars a month for a simple professional local business website click on the link below for a free seven day trial now let's break it down and jump right into this video Okay, so here's what you actually need. A simple website can go a long way for a small business. Establishing an online presence, connecting with potential customers, here are some of the key elements. First of all, a clear and concise homepage. Briefly introduce your business, highlight what you do, where you do it, who you serve, and just use some strong visuals like good looking images and keep the information easily scannable. Remember, people don't have long attention spans. Make sure there's an about section on your website and just share your story, your mission, what you value, you know, what you do to build trust and connection. Doesn't have to be long, just what's your story? What's your mission, right? People care about that before they hire you. Then you need to tell us what your products or services are. Now you don't have to necessarily have a product catalog or dedicated service pages, but just something where it clearly tells us what you're offering, right? What's a description of what it is that you're selling, whether that's a service, whether that's food or whether that's products. And then contact information. Make it easy for people to reach you. You should have your address, your phone number, your email, and your social media links. Also consider having a contact form to just make it easy for people to just type right in and communicate with you that way. Now there are some essential things you need to think about for just making your website easy to use. It should have simple navigation, so just a very clear menu with a really intuitive structure to make it easy for visitors to find what they need. You also should be mobile friendly, right? Most traffic and most browsing happens on mobile devices now. So ensure your website adapts seamlessly for that experience. Now it should also be fast loading, nobody likes to wait and if your website takes forever to load they're going to leave your website from their phone and go to a competitor's who wants to wait for a website to load right so optimize your website for quick loading mighty sites if you're using that it's a super fast loading website platform and then also you need to have calls to action that's those little buttons on websites like call today or submit lead form or find out more right tell your visitors what you want them to do next whether it's book an appointment contact you subscribe to your newsletter see you on social media have call to action buttons that tell them exactly what to do that's how you get them to actually connect with your business and become a lead okay next up you've got to build trust and credibility that means using professional photos or videos to showcase your business your products your services you can pull in stock photos. If you're using Mighty Sites, again, there's 5 million photos you can choose from that are already baked into a library. Include testimonials or reviews. So include positive feedback from satisfied customers that demonstrate your value. Just put those reviews or those testimonials right there. It builds a lot of trust. And then make sure you're using a secure certificate. So your website should say HTTPS. That's it. It protects user data and builds trust. Okay, other additional features you might wanna consider, you might want to have a blog and link to your blog from Mighty Sites or build out a blog. And now you're gonna to have to keep it consistent if you do that though. You also might wanna do online booking or shopping. So those could be ways to make it convenient for your customers to purchase from you. And definitely social media integration. So you might wanna like link your Instagram photos to your gallery or things like that. Those can all be things that can be helpful for your website, but it totally depends on what type of business you are and what you're hoping to get out of your website platform. So remember, keep it simple, focus on the essentials that effectively communicate your value proposition. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, like, we'd love to share more of our content in future videos to help you market, get customers, grow your SEO for your business. And remember by following some of these practices, you'll create a simple website that serves your small business well, doesn't break the bank and helps you achieve your goal of growing your business. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next videos.